how to make volumetric clouds in Blender, first thing you need to do is set the render engine to cycles, since Evy still kinda poor in that field. You can choose any shape of mesh you have, so let's go with Suzanne to make a monkey cloud, next we need a volume empty, so shift A to add one, with this empty we need two modifiers, one is mesh to volume, and in this we can select the shape for the volume by assigning any mesh, the monkey in my case. Then we can adjust both the density and the voxel number for more details. I will go with a density value of 3 and a voxel number around 128 should do the trick. You can lower the voxel number for low end machines. By now we don't need Suzanne, so just hide it. The other modifier is for the cloud texture, so add a volume displace. Then make a new texture in it. Switch to texture properties to fix couple of things. First make the type on clouds since this is what we want, and it should give you something like this, which I think is kinda cool and you can go with it, the size also can be adjusted and I increased it a bit and that depend on your mesh, and this is what you get, quite nice if you agree, and you can go to the materials to fix the color and other values like in any volume node. Second method we have is similar to the first one, but with geometry nodes, we do need some subdivision on this monkey head, then add a new geometry node on it, and focus here a bit, add an instance on point node, and plug the group output to the instance slot. We also need a mesh line as a points input to get the monkey back, and make its count on one cause we need one monkey cloud, after that add a realize instance, a mesh to point and a points to volume in order, in the last one adjust the radius and density to keep the monkey in shape, or go crazy and see what you get. After that, we need a volume to mesh node, and that will go through a subdivision then a set position node to get some texture on the cloud, so in the set position offset, add a musgrave texture. Plug it through a multiply math node on two steps, one to fix the normal, and the other for the size. We can wrap all this with a mesh to volume node, and we're done with this mess. You can control the density and voxel amount for the size details and all that with the last node, and here is the result. A fine ass monkey cloud to get your Harry Potter project done. There are also many cool add-ons to help you generate or add clouds to your scene. One of them is this old procedural cloud system, and it's free to get on Blender Nation. The other one is a paid collection of VDM called Real Cloud, so check them out. Links are downstairs, and that's it. Like the video if you still here, and see you guys next time. Stay sharp, goodbye.